Hello, I'm Veronica Stanicka and you're watching PHTV4 Spotlight and today we're taking a look at a special dog rescue program event. Um, today I'm here with Karen Skosik. She is head of the circulation at Palos Heights Library. Thank you so much for visiting us today, Karen. Thanks for having me, Veronica. My pleasure. Uh, so Palos Heights is um, partnering with an organization called Trail Traveling Trails Dog Rescue for the month of September. So what will be taking place? So I want to start out with how this began, basically. Um, back in January, we started what we call a kindness corner over at the library. Mm -hmm. And we collected over $650 worth of gift cards to local gift shop, uh, local coffee shops for the police and fire department. Wow. So that was our first thing. Then we went on and we planted trees over at the library for the teachers of Palos Heights as well as the healthcare workers. And we just finished doing a kindness corner bingo. And that spread more kindness throughout Palos Heights because that was our goal. We wanted just, you know, 2020 was such a horrible year. We wanted just to spread some kindness. So now we thought out of the box a little bit and we started, we decided that we would do a dog supply donation. And that's our plan for September. Um, we're also gonna be selling at our circulation desk rope pull toys that were made by our youth and teen department. We're gonna be selling bandanas and the proceeds for them, from them will go to Traveling Tales also. Oh, that's so and sweet. And then to top it off, on September 11th, from 11 to 1, Traveling Tales will be bringing a few dogs to the library, and we're hoping to find their forever homes for them. Oh, that's so precious. So. Um, how did you connect with Traveling Tales Dog Rescue, and what was the catalyst of the partnership between the Palos Heights Library and that organization? and now it seems there's a joint program. Is there a name for the joint program? Um, in the back of my mind, I always knew I wanted to do a rescue. So probably a few months ago, I was reading in the regional, regional about Jennifer Fisher, who is a German teacher over at Shepherd High School, as well as a local mm -hmm. from Palos Heights. And she started a dog rescue. So bingo, I knew in my mind this was probably going to take place now because it couldn't be more perfect. Right. So I gave her a call. She was on board for it. Um, I know it seems unusual that a library would do a dog rescue, but it isn't all about books at a library. We've, I don't know, did you know we check out tables and chairs? No, I had no Palos idea. Heights residents? Yes. We check out tables and chairs for their parties, their garage sales, et cetera, et cetera. We, there's drones you can check out. We have a museum pass wow. uh, that gets you into suburban museums at a discount rate. Mm -hmm. So basically, it is unusual, but that's what we try to do. Mm -hmm. so you think out of the box? We're hoping to do that, yes. Uh, so if people want to donate something, how would they go about doing it and what other types of items do you want donated? So there's going to be a collection box over at the library the whole month of September and we're going to be accepting gently used or brand new collars, leashes, um, collars, leashes, one more thing, blankets. Mm -hmm. And then it gets a little more specific because the dogs basically eat Purina Pro dog food and they eat, what else, natural balance dog food. So along with that, they need puppy pads, stain removers, um, treats, and throughout September we'll be doing that. Okay, that's nice. Okay. So they'll just come to the library and just drop it off at the mm -hmm. kindness corner? Over there or the day of the event. Anybody can come and visit and drop off then too. Okay, and so. then we're going to have uh, the Palos Animal Hospital. Someone's going to be there as well on September 11. What will their role be? Yeah, we're really happy about that. So they're going to have their own table. And they'll be there to answer any questions about rescuing a dog. Um, and the beauty of all that, too, is they're going to donate gift certificates for their first medical exam if a successful adoption has been made. Wow, and that saves a lot of money. Yes, it does, yeah. So if someone is interested in adopting a dog, what would they need to do? 
Well, first, come to the event because mm -hmm. that's where you're actually going to be able to meet and greet mm -hmm. the animal. Okay. And uh, from there, you'll talk to Jennifer a little bit. You'll fill out an application. Mm -hmm. You won't bring the pet home the first, you know, just from the event because okay. they have to do background checks. Okay. Um, after that, basically, that's it. That's it. That's so, th that's yeah. their forever home. It is. <coughs> they can all. You can also visit t ttdr dot org. That's mm -hmm. the traveling tales um, website. Okay. So. And that's the website uh, where they would find more information. And is that the website that would tell them how to go about to provide additional supplies or to donate? Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Everything's on that website. So. Okay. Perfect. Okay. Any other thoughts, any closing thoughts that you would like to share with the, the public? Um, we just ask that you come out and support it. Even if you don't adopt a dog, it's just so nice to donate and know that you're helping the pet rescue. Mm -hmm. You know, So donations are just as important. I've adopted three dogs in my lifetime, and they're such a great addition to a family. Mm -hmm. um, and as much as we hope the weather's going to be beautiful, you just don't know, yeah. as you know. Mm -hmm. And so the rain date will be September 18th, which is the following Saturday. Okay. The original takes place September 11th from 9 to 11. The rain date is September 18th from, I'm sorry, it isn't 9 to 11, it's 11 to 1. Oh, 11 to 1, uh, yeah. 9 11. Yes. Okay, perfect. And as well as on the 18th, 18. 11 to 1. Okay. Very well prepared that you have a rain date as well. Yeah, let's hope. Uh, let's hope we don't need it. Yeah. Um, and then stay tuned to see what happens in the Kindness Corner in the following months, too. Oh, thank you. Okay. So thank you, Karen, for joining us today. Thank you. We wish you the absolute best with your events. Thank you. And hope you get tons of donations and adoptions take place. I hope so, too. Come visit us. I definitely will be there. Okay. Um, so I'm Veronica Stanicka, and you've been watching Spotlight Dog Rescue. I'm Veronica Stondica and you're watching PHTV4 Spotlight and today we're interviewing uh, a special rescue and dog rescue program called Traveling Tales Dog Rescue and we are at the Palos Heights Library today lovely background as you can see and we are interviewing Jennifer Fisher hello Jennifer Fisher thank you for joining us today Hi, thanks for having me. Absolutely. So Jennifer Fisher, you're a teacher at Shepherd High School. How did you become in charge or leading a animal rescue or dog rescue program? Yeah, funny you should ask. <laughs> um, about five years ago, uh, we adopted Danica, mm -hmm. my dog here. She's from Qatar. Aww. And I absolutely fell in love with the breed and with the Saluki and the Saluki mixes and decided that I wanted to help other dogs get over here from overseas. And was it have a better life here right. in the States. Wow, that's fantastic. Mm -hmm. She's gorgeous. Thank you. And what is the mission of the dog rescue program? Um, our mission is basically to, we're, we're dedicated to be a, a voice for the voiceless, for abandoned and abused and, and neglected dogs, um, primarily overseas, but we also rescue from the United States as well, okay. from local shelters and different states around the country. And how many dogs have you rescued? Um, so far, we're just over 400. Only 400. That's yeah. incredible. Yeah. And is there any particular story, a rescue story, that you would like to share with our audience? There's so many stories, so many. Mm -hmm. um, actually, there's a dog by the name of Archer mm -hmm. um, that was supposed to be euthanized, and our rescue partner overseas uh, got a hold of the dog and rescued him and saved him. And once he was in foster, before he flew to the U.S., he had a problem with his jaw. He had some trouble eating. And they took him to the vet and they did an x-ray and they found out that he had a bullet in his jaw. Oh my gosh. So not only was he going to be euthanized, but he was also basically shot, which mm -hmm. is very common in the Middle East, especially they shoot and poison dogs all the time. So the vet was able to remove the bullet and he made it over here and he's got a great home and he will actually be at the library here oh on September goodness. 11. Yeah. That is such a moving story. Mm -hmm. And how did you connect with the library? How did that relationship begin? Um, there was actually a newspaper article written about our rescue mm -hmm. a few months back and Karen from the library reached out to me and asked me if I wanted to be involved with an adoption event here and I thought it was a great idea so wow be a great thing for the rescue and for the library too I'm glad I'm glad and I got to uh -huh. meet Danica 
And so the event takes place September 11 at 11 a.m. to 1 p.m. Uh, yes. What exactly would be taking place on that, on that day? Uh, we will be here with several dogs, so if people would like to look at our dogs, they can. Mm -hmm. And we'll also have a volunteer that makes bandanas for dogs. Um, I know Palos Animal Hospital will be here, which I'm actually quite excited about because all of my personal dogs, they all see um, their various vets at Palos Animal Hospital. I'm from Palos Heights, so I've always had my dogs at Palos Animal Hospital. So I will know a lot of the people. I'll be, I'll be happy to see friends <laughs> from yeah. Palos Animal Hospital. And um, yeah, I mean, it'll just be a great time, get, get to know some people. and. That's beautiful. Spread the word about our rescue. Yeah. So that was a shout out to Palos Animal Hospital. Yes. <laughs> uh, if someone is interested in adopting a dog, how would they go about contacting your organization and what are the steps they would need to take? Um, they just basically would go to our website or they can find our pets on Adopt-a-Pet or Pet Finder. Okay. Um, the process would be first to fill out an application, then we get in contact, we do an interview, then we do reference checks and then we do a FaceTime or a video chat, like a Google Duo type um, home visit and then we set up meet and greets. Mm -hmm. We are foster based so we do not have a, a kennel anywhere. All of our dogs go into foster homes before they're adopted. So immediately from arriving from abroad they go into a foster mm -hmm. home. Yeah. Yes. And you put a great deal of care and, and where you're going to place the dog as well. That's, Absolutely. That's yes. really wonderful. That's important. <laughs> and is the pro how is the program funded and how do you go about arranging the rescue of a dog? Okay, that's a good question. Um, as far as our overseas partners go, uh, they actually have people that donate um, for the flights, for the flight crates, and for the vetting and things like that. So a lot of sponsors and things like that. And then on our end, we do a lot of fundraising through Facebook. We have fundraisers, t-shirts, mm -hmm. yetis, <laughs> different things, t-shirts, calendars, you know, whatever we can come up with, we raise money on our side that way. Okay, so people Donations. would, they would be able to find all of these wonderful things to purchase on your website. Yes. Right. Yes. Love we, your we website. Mm -hmm. You have your own store. Yeah. On the website, yeah. Mm -hmm. And your website is very informative. It's user friendly. And so they would go on there to purchase the items and also donate. Yes. Yeah. yes. Wonderful. Wonderful. And how is any closing thoughts, any information, additional information you'd like to share with the audience? Um, um, Hope to see everybody here on the 11th at the library. I think it'll be a great, a great time, great opportunity to meet some dogs, and we appreciate all the support, mm -hmm. you know, from the community. And there's a huge need to rescue dogs, you know, both here and abroad. There's so many different situations and cases. So, I would say adopt, don't shop. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, thank you so much, Jennifer, for joining us today, as well okay. as Danica. Mm -hmm. Hey, Danica, do you want to say hi to the audience? Hey, Not Danny. so much. Well. <laughs> We wish you the absolute best with donations, adoptions, and a wonderful event as well. Um, I'm Veronica Stanica, and you've been watching Spotlight Dog Rescue. Thank you.